This from Dog Pound Daily. Three Browns targets amidst the Colts fire sale. So they traded Stephon Gilmore, a really good cornerback yesterday. Um, number three, tight end Mo Alley Cox. Uh, we, we do know the Browns are um, tied to Donald Parham, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, number two, Kenny Moore the second, a cornerback. Again, I don't know that the Browns need a cornerback, but we know Andrew Barry. Um, and the Browns seem to identify really talented cornerbacks, so I would never put it past them. Number one, DeForest Buckner. And if there's a way to get DeForest Buckner at a reasonable, um, reasonable price and, and find a way to, to make the dollars work, I love that idea. 100%. Then you're talking about taking the biggest weakness of this team, which was the defensive taco group, and suddenly you make it a strength. And we know with Jim Schwartz in his defense, he puts a lot on the front four to, to uh, make things happen, doesn't blitz a lot. So it's on those guys to get a lot of job, a lot of stuff done. With Miles Garrett, you obviously have a, an amazing starting point. Obo or Okoronko on the other side, I think it'd be a great fit if indeed the Browns go with the wide nine set. Uh, Tom Tomlinson I like with obviously you know his run stop capability but you put the Forrest Buckner at that other defensive tackle spot all of a sudden you have a you have a dominant one-two punch of defensive tackle as long as those guys stay healthy as you can say for really any player in the NFL but Buckner I mean he's, a, he's an absolute stud over there I mean big body just such a dominant player uh, it's, again, it's just going to depend on compensation. You know what will happen, what can happen with his contract if the Colts are actually willing to move on from the Forrest Buckner. But if, like I said with Elijah Moore, if there's a way to get the Forrest Buckner, if you're Andrew Berry, it's and it's a reasonable price, go for it because then all of a sudden you're taking, like I said, you're taking the middle of the defensive line, which was an issue a year ago, and all of a sudden you made it pretty formidable. And like I said with Jim Schwartz defenses, they thrive when you have great players in the middle. They've got one. Let's just see if they can get another.